What is up guys, Petrify here and I'm on the test place for Phantom Forces and I have some exciting news for you guys. We have two new potential weapons coming to the regular Phantom Forces later in the future. Now you guys can go test these weapons, there's a link in the description, but right now we have two new guns, a shotgun and a battle rifle. Now for the shotgun, it's called the KS-23M. It looks amazing, it is amazing, and it's, it's a very good shotgun. Probably our best shotgun that we have right now. And then for the brand new battle rifle is the Henry 4570, which is actually a gun from Battlefield 1, which is currently a sniper on that game. But this gun is actually really cool, and it has stuff that I want to explain to you guys about. And I think both of these weapons are perfectly balanced. They don't need to be messed with or anything like that. So I think they're good to go into the game, but they just need your comments. So you guys can comment down below telling them what you think about these two new weapons and if they should be added and if they should be tweaked. Uh, put all that down below in the comments, and they read all of that to see your guys' opinions on the weapons. So we're going to hop straight into our game. What map are we playing on? Crane Sight. Uh, this is the revamped version. We're going to be starting with the Battle Rifle, the Henry. Um, and this gun is actually in Battlefield 1, like I said. And it's a sniper in Battlefield 1. It's like a one-shot kill at any uh, part of the body. Um, but in this game, they actually changed it up a little bit. Put it as a Battle Rifle. And it's two shots to the chest. It does very, very high damage to the chest. One-shot kill from pretty much any range to the head, I'm pretty sure. I didn't really test out the uh, complete ranges on this thing yet, but I know it's really strong. It's a very, very good weapon, very lethal, definitely worth using. Uh, there are some people in my buildings, and I'm kind of scared. I need to figure out what floor they're... Hello, how's it going? Okay, we got him. Now, I haven't tested if it's a one-shot kill super up close. Now, it does feel like a shotgun. I will tell you guys that right now. It does not feel like a, a, does not feel like a battle rifle at all. Feels more like a shotgun slash sniper. Now, I really want to check if it's actually one shot to the chest when you're super close to somebody. Uh, like shotgun range. I'm wondering if it is. I'm not too sure yet, but I need to get into a certain gunfight to test that out. Uh, to make sure of that or not. I hate when people move as soon as you line up your shot perfectly. And they're like, no, I, I don't feel like standing here anymore. <laughs> and they move right away. Um, but so far, you guys can see by the gameplay that it is one-shot kill from almost any range. I haven't tested a uh, super, super far range on it yet, so I'm not... I can't confirm that yet. But it seems like a very powerful gun at the moment, uh, which is very good. I think I feel like we need more weapons. All right, I can confirm that it's not a one-shot kill to the chest. Very close. That dude just got launched. <laughs> dude, I thought he was gone, but he landed. All right, hypo's in my game. Get out of here, you scrub. You scrub. All right, let's um, let's go on the crane. Okay, to test the range on this thing, I am gonna hop on the crane real quick to go see what it's like. See if what the if range on this thing is a one shot kill to the head. I'm kind of thinking it is. Um, so we're about to find out right now if this thing's gonna be a lethal sniper, uh, and also a nice battle rifle. Oh, I don't know the. Oh my god, dude, this thing's insane. This thing looks amazing. It is a beautiful weapon, and it definitely does not uh it's definitely not bad for sure hey stop that i'm the only one that shoots at people i am the the reaper yeah that was a stupid name teammate move no hypo no thank you hypo. oh yeah i forgot that you just go through teammates ha ha thank you uh Lido, for that finally we actually got that fixed anyways um the henry is a very good dmr and i will tell you guys right now uh, when you're running around with this thing, it will definitely feel like a shotgun, and it sounds like a shotgun as well, but I guarantee you that you don't want to use this thing from uh, up close. Like, I'm telling you right now, you don't want to use it up close unless you are very good at hitting headshots from uh, close quarters. But it is a two-shot kill to the chest, uh, even if you're up close. Oh, God. Run. I need to get out of here. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure up close, it does a pretty good amount of damage. I noticed that I've one shot somebody in the chest before and it did 90 damage to them So it could be a very lethal weapon up close if you don't miss your shots um, but Like I said, it's a one shot headshot. So if you're a very accurate person, I do recommend the iron sights uh, I tried the ACOG on it wasn't a fan uh, We went 10 and 1 with that, but there is a little bit of Henry gameplay now I'm gonna mess around with a brand new shotgun that's gonna be coming hopefully in the future I hope they do add this both of these weapons because I'm really enjoying this right now uh, so we're going to go over to the Scout. Now, this gun looks amazing. Um, it looks really, really nice. I like the colors on it. Um, I feel like the colors are perfect. Uh, it's a little bit brighter than I think you would want it. You might want it a little bit darker, the, the wood on it. But other than that, it looks perfect. I really do like the way it looks. 
uh, but it performs amazingly too. Not only does it look nice, it also is very good. Uh, it, it works like a shotgun should. That's what it. That's what it works like. Um, 1911 did a similar thing, where shotguns were very, very lethal at, at up close, like they should be. And it looks like Phantom Forces is actually doing that with their shotguns now, and that is a good thing. A lot of guys might think. A lot of people might think shotguns are like very hard to counter and that is very true shotguns can be very hard to counter but you gotta go if you're going up against the like decent players that are good with shotgun i'm telling you right now you're not gonna win gunfights like if they're good with the shotgun up close you're not winning any gunfights i'll tell you that right now so if you go up against a good opponent that is good using shotguns you're probably gonna lose nine times out of ten your gunfights so just be aware of that that the shotguns could be a very lethal thing uh in the update if they do release a shotgun just a big heads up. Uh, but for people that do enjoy shotguns, this shotgun is definitely for you. One thing that I will say that I've noticed, don't miss your first shot up close or else you're going to die. I will tell you that right now. It, it has The pump action on this is very slow. It's not very slow, but it's slower than most shotguns that we've used. For example, the Remington, it has a really fast pump action on it. Uh, but this one doesn't, so be aware of that. Um, it'll be cool if they added like something like a sleight of hand attachment where you can pump your shotgun a little bit faster. That would be cool. That would be awesome. I'm not very happy right now because my mouse pad is currently like, I don't know what's wrong with it. I feel like it's because it's cold or something. I don't know. It feels damp though. How is my mouse pad feeling damp? I didn't spill anything on it. I'm, it's so confusing. Like it feels like I'm trying to move this thing in water. Like my mouse pad, it feels like I'm trying to move it around. Oh God. Hello. I was currently trying to show everybody my mouse pad movements and you come up out of nowhere gosh darn it dude i'm gonna go get revenge on that guy never mind my spawn that was close to him is gone now i need a close spawn this is close enough i need my revenge yeah but the range on this thing is actually pretty good i say it's i say it definitely does compete at medium range uh very well that was a headshot hit marker somehow i feel like that should have been a kill maybe i need to be more center mass on that there we go I'm, I'm coming to you, dude. I'm getting my revenge kill on you. He's probably already dead at this time. Hopefully he's not. I do want my revenge kill on this guy. Please still be up here. Please. He had a BFG. So whoever we kill that has a BFG, he was probably the guy that killed me. I'm dead. Yeah, that's the range that people will get you at. That's why the shotguns are not that lethal, which is a good thing. You don't want people just using these shotguns. What attachments can you put on this thing, though? Let's see what attachments you can put. You can put almost any optic. Uh, pretty much all the attachments, barrel attachments. There's no new grips for it. You have, you can put bird shots on it. You can put slugs. So you can probably turn this thing into a sniper. You probably can. It does 34 to 25 damage, and it drops off around around 90 studs. It drops down to 25 damage per hit. So you might be able to turn this thing into a shotgun, possibly. I'm not too sure. I don't remember what the Remington shotgun does uh, from range. I forget the damage on it. But if you put slugs on it, you probably can use this thing uh, from range pretty well. So I, we need to check that out. Oh, Salad's in here. He's one of the mods of PF. Let's go up here. Oh, there's, oh they're spawning right over here. Chuck a nade. Dude, my nose has been killing me so much recently. Like, it's so, so itchy. I don't... Oh. oh. Okay, I got a headshot with a frag. All right. Okay, I got three hit markers right there. Right there. Jump over this. There's a guy above here. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't lay down up, up on sniper towers. I'm going to kill you through the floor. But overall, these two new guns are amazing. I feel like they're game changers as well. Because the shotguns, they're, they're really good. The shotguns are known to be pretty good in PF. But they don't perform like they should be performing. And I feel like this shotgun completely uh, throws all those other shotguns away and actually performs like a shotgun should be. It one shots up close most of the time um, if you're aiming center mass on people, basically at the chest, and you'll get pretty much a one shot kill every single time. Um, the way the shotguns work uh, that were currently in Phantom Forces before this one, um, they were pretty good, but you had to have certain attachments on them and stuff to make them uh, work properly. Um, and then you also had the slugs that made it like a long range DMR pretty much. Basically like the Henry, for example. You can probably turn this gun into a Henry. It seems like a, a smaller Henry. Um, the new battle rifle that we just discovered or talked about in the first part of the video. I'm going to switch over to that very soon. I do want to get some gameplay of that on this map. 
Uh, but I can't wait to see the feeds that people are going to be hitting with these guns. Where this, Where is that guy shooting at? Oh, oh, darn it. Hey, come here. Was there two... Was there two of them in here? I thought I'd seen two bodies. Could be wrong. He might be sitting here waiting for us. He definitely is going up, though. Hello? Stop going. Oh, hello. How you doing? Okay, that guy kind of scared me. All right, as soon as I die, I will switch over to the Henry. And I do want to do a little bit more gameplay of that. My teammates are just wrecking everybody. Don't even get a chance to do anything. We're going to flank this guy real quick, though. Never mind the teammate. Kill them. All right. My team is apparently too good. They should be spawning over here. Yeah, there should be a, at least a couple over here. Please don't push out from this tank yet. Okay, that works too. I'll take that. Jump over this. Shoot! Oh my god, that might that might be a bug on the shotgun. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what just happened right there, to be honest with you. I'm very confused. My shotgun wasn't shooting. Was I still in pump? I don't know. I don't know if I was still pumping my shotgun. It sounded like I pumped it though. Right, I'll switch over to the Henry. Uh, it's in here. I gotta remember this thing's a batter rifle. I need to remember that. I was gonna put a scope on this thing, but personally, I like it with the iron sights. I feel like the iron sights are so much better. They still have yet to fix the thing where you can see the red dot through buildings and stuff. I feel like that should be fixed. Um, I hope that's fixed, because that seems like a big problem. Uh, I don't know if they're, like, purposely doing that, or if they're trying to fix it. I don't know what's going on with that. But that is a, a pretty big problem, in my opinion. Seeing people's red dot through buildings. It's pretty much like having a bot. Especially when you have a sniper. Oh. I thought I seen a guy climbing with that ladder over there. Alright, let's go on top of here. This is my personally my favorite spot to hit feeds on this map is up on this building. It's like the easiest. You can see everything. Very, very nice. Headshot him. Headshot him. Yeah, let's reload real quick. I like the reload animation on this. It's cool. It's different. I'm just sitting here head, glitch head glitching everything. Oh, could you imagine we hit that shot? Oh, he just barely jumped down. What are you doing? Very confused what these guys are doing over there. It seems like they don't even understand the map or what's going on over there. <laughs> Man, that, that seeing the dot through the walls really needs to be changed. I couldn't see. My teammate ran right in front of me. Oh. Like, I can sit there and wall bang that right now. Come on. He's not peeking. Oh, now you want to peek. Now you want to... He's like, nope, firing team right around that corner. <laughs> Hello? How are... Oh. Okay. Sick. Welcome to Fan of Forces, where suicide is an option, and you can definitely kill people while you're committing seppuku. Uh, but overall, throughout the two weapons that are currently in this, I definitely do enjoy the shotgun a lot more. Uh, mainly because I feel like shotgun just instantly make the game, like, a million times funner. Should I say funner? I don't care. I'm creating funner. All right, that's a word um, But basically I feel like it makes the game uh, very fun uh, Shotguns do and I think that shotgun should definitely be added into the game. I hope it is added I honestly just randomly shot to kill that guy. I couldn't pay attention when he was shooting at me like that my Bullets were, or my sight was going everywhere by the way somebody always comments somebody said they're super triggered because I always do this you do realize why I do this right to mark players for my teammates, for me to get one assist for marking a player for more XP, two, um, because it's a habit. Yeah, that's only two reasons I have. And then also somebody was like, why do you always reload all the time? You have like 30 bullets, dude. Why are you reloading? Well, see, the thing is, I my aim is not reliable. Sometimes I have really bad aim. Sometimes I have very superior aim. And most of the time I have bad aim. So I reload to make sure I don't run out of ammo for my next kill. Yeah. 
Yeah, I suck. Anyways, I think we're in the video here. Hopefully, I did in entertain you guys. Make sure you guys are commenting down below saying what you guys think about these weapons that are coming to the new Phantom Forces, hopefully, later in the future. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take or if they're even going to be added. This is not a guaranteed thing that they're going to be added, but most of the time when they add something into the test plays, it is most likely being tested to be added in the next couple weeks, or sometimes they just completely throw the project away and don't add them at all. So it's not a guarantee that these guns will be put in, but if you guys give good comments on these, and if you guys would like these in the game, make sure you comment down below, and the chances of them getting in is a lot higher. Also, leave a like in the video if you guys didn't enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, the bell notification. If you guys haven't hit that yet, you get notified every single time I upload when you hit that. So make sure you guys do that. I'm going to go. I love you guys. Talk to you guys later in the next video. Peace out.